Taurus, beautiful queens, handsome kings, welcome to Unique and Unapologetic Tarot. How you doing, beautiful queens and handsome kings? How you doing? Subscribers, unsubscribers, and cross watchers, welcome. Oh my God. I'm glad I'm almost at the end of this shit, because I really, let me say that, I didn't want to do this. Spirit make me do it. I ain't been feeling good. I, no more. Take your baths. Take your spiritual baths. Smudge out your houses. <laughs> Write down your intentions. I don't know why I hear. I think I better let it go. Looks like another TKO. I Take time to breathe out. Take time to breathe out. A time to give rather than take. Nothing will come of this situation. Well, now I know why I hear TKO. <laughs> Woo. So I don't know why I need to start doing cuffs because every time I talk to y'all tourists, I be hearing cuffs, cuffs. So I be talking to some people that airy cuffs, airy tours, or Gemini tours. I be talking to it don't just be they don't just be tours when I be talking to y'all. Act as if your partner is here. Whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if they are with you so you will always consider them. So, so, I don't know if that means somebody designed somebody or not, but it's saying be supportive. Make a genuine effort to show you. Look, at the bottom it's saying be supportive. Make a genuine effort to show you care. So... Now the pinnacles. You dotting all your eyes, dotting all your T's, crossing, I mean crossing all your T's, moving slowly and something. Okay, take time. It's saying take a time to breathe out. A time to give rather than take. Nothing will come of this situation. So and at the bottom it's saying be supportive. So or act as your partner is here. So. Five of Pentacles. Somebody coming out of the terminal. Somebody that has some clarity or recovery about being left out in the cold about something. Okay? Or. When I say time to give or rather than take, and when it starts off with you, check this out. I hope Taurus it wasn't none of y'all that was trying to have somebody in terminal because you was trying to leave them out in the cold. But I don't know who has strings attached around y'all being stingy and greedy, but it's saying the time to give rather than take. I mean, energy cross. So, yeah, y'all had somebody smug as fuck. Trying to take y'all happiness, especially with turmoil and look. Trying to, uh, they not gonna get a wish fulfillment. So whoever thought they was gonna have you in need and poverty, <laughs> it says nothing will come of this situation. Look, it's free. You done took your freedom. You done walked away. Now whether this, uh, I said subscribers, unsubscribe, cross watch. I don't know. I don't feel good. I don't care. Look. Don't be Cinderella stepsister putting your foot in the shoe that don't fit. If I'm not talking to you, I'm not talking to you. It's a glass slipper. Your foot too big, it's going to crack it, it's going to cut it. Your foot too small, it's going to clack it's glass as soon as it hit the ground. It's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to go inside your foot. You're going to cut yourself. So here you go. Look, somebody tried to have you in restrictions. And look, and you looked out. 
And you walked away. You took your freedom. Y'all walked away from somebody. Somebody. Now, Eight of Swords also could be going to jail, right? Yeah. Somebody aggressively tried to stop some transition in your life. Or you resisting transition because you're aggressive of the bullshit that the person did to you. But we know elephants talk with their feet with vibration. Upside, this is this, this. Don't be resisting transition. That's low vibrational shit. And if somebody was try, aggressively trying to stop your transition, that's still low vibrational shit. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody around y'all had a lack of teamwork. Look, three of pentacles upside down. And if they was in the third party, laugh at they ass like I always do because they third party got group fucking conflict. <laughs> yeah. The, the team <laughs> got problems. They got problems because you got foresight of the bullshit they was doing. And you still been having rapid growth when they thought they was going to resist your transition. And you moved on to new journeys. So while they thought they were studying you, you were studying their ass too. And you always seen that pitchfork. See that pitchfork? I don't know how the fuck that pitchfork or what the fuck. Yeah. I don't know who the fuck. What the fuck? Yeah. Look. That box says disaster relief. Well, they strings attach. Re, what that say? Redis, redistribution. Guess what? You're not going to be they. You're not going to relieve their disaster. Why they thought they come in your life with strings attached. No. It says nothing coming of the situation. So they need to re, look, take time to breathe out. Page of Wands. You you excited and exploring new goddamn things. Maybe you got a message of the fuckery these people then did to you, but that's okay. That's okay. The message was just clarity for you to have recovery because you. Why they thought they was going to keep you in turmoil. That you're not. You're not. They ass going to be in turmoil. Yeah. Yeah. Look. You went fiercely. Night of Wands. To slay that motherfucking dragon and moved on to new adventures. Yeah. Yeah. Why they thought they was going to. No. You're not in turmoil. Yeah. The message is just clarity. Of shit that you was already aware of. And the message might come from somebody in the justice system. The message, like I said, all the message was is clarity to balance back out the shit of the shit they then did to you. Justice. Justice. You will get justice for the shit that the, whoever did something to you. You're going to get justice. You're going to get justice. Somebody around you, it says, a time to give rather than take. So whoever was trying to take from you, you will get justice. If you was trying to take from somebody, guess what? They're going to get justice. <laughs> yeah. Because somebody planted motherfucking bad seeds that ain't going to grow against you. No. I don't, they had a bad vision about this situation. They finna see that it's work. There's, there's a message gonna come in to their ass that it was work without reward. Some of them gonna be a legal message. Justice. Justice. Stop killing us, it said. Stop killing us. So, take a breathe out. Breathe out. Breathe out. So whatever they thought they was going to be, ain't nothing. It's, it says void, of course. So whatever they thought <laughs> with their smug ass. Whoever smugly thought they was taking your happiness, they really took their own fucking happiness. Because they're not going to get wish fulfillment. They're not. They're not. <laughs> Let 
Yeah, they backstabbed your ass, but they're not even going to be able, they weren't able to defeat you. They weren't able to ruin you. No, they wasn't. Next to justice? <laughs> yeah, look. I don't know. It was only in their imagination that you was confused about their fuckery. It was only in their imagination, Seven of Cups, that you was confused about their, their fuckery. Only in their imagination. With their delusional ass. You knew they had multiple options. You knew they was trying to confuse you. You knew they was trying to come in your life just to get information. You knew it. You always had a light. Your light was shining. You knew it. You knew it. You knew it. Look. Deck of cards. Some of y'all. Some of y'all are high priestess. Some of y'all do tarot cards. Some of y'all intuitive. Some of y'all clairvoyant. Some of y'all, hey, cards is nice. We love them, but we don't need them. But hey, some of y'all, these thin cards made from board are each decorated with a rearing dragon on their back. Rearing dragon. Didn't I say some of y'all went in there and slayed that motherfucking dragon? Yes. Deck of cards. Deck of cards. Some of y'all are tarot readers. Some of y'all are tarot readers. And there's your confirmation. You're right. You're right. You're right. You was already intuitive and knew the shit. And the tarot cards were just was confirmation, you know. Yeah. And we, this person was a page of cups upside down. This person was emotionally immature. Uh, not only was they emotionally immature, the motherfucker ain't even sorry for the bullshit they did with their emotionally immature ass. No. Home expression. They don't have they don't know how to express no love because they ain't got none. Cause they emotionally immature. And two pages, you know what I'm saying? Maybe it was a, a teenager that, that was doing some fuckery on something. They didn't want you in another relationship. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I've been here towards that it's been a kid being involved in this shit. I don't know. And it, it don't necessarily mean your kid. It could be your baby father or your baby mother, my handsome king or beautiful queen, that's trying to use your kids against you on some fuckery shit. But they was the devil. Look. Dissolve the empire. Undertaker. Yeah. Somebody was trying. And look, you see how them kids is in this when I said your baby mama, baby father? Look. I don't, somebody was trying to dissolve your empire. They was trying to stay binded with you. They probably on they probably on drugs or alcohol or was teaming up with people that was on drugs and alcohol to do stupid shit to you. But guess what? You got justice. They weren't able to ruin you. Yeah, they backstabbed you. Okay. Okay. But keep on going. Because now they see that you still had right, what? You still had rapid growth. You still went on new journeys. Your cycles are still going. You got good karma and good fortune. You, If they haven't paid for it, they finna pay for it. Believe me. They finna pay for it. They finna pay for that shit. Yes, they is. Yes, they is. Yes, they is. Look, you done moved on. You ain't even fucking sorrow. You put a band-aid on your heart and you could stop it from motherfucking bleeding. You forgave and moved on. You forgave them. You forgave yourself. You don't want the motherfuckers that you can love. Even if it's family or a lover, you're going to love them at a fucking distance. But you're not in fucking sorrow. And by you not being in sorrow and using your ace of cups, using your intuition, uh, uh, that shit. Using your intuition. You had intuition, the cards, some of y'all tell card readers, clairvoyant, whatever. This is spiritual. Some of y'all, empaths. Guess what? The universe is giving you an overflow of cup of emotions, a new cup of emotions. Good cycles, good karma, good fortune for whoever was trying to be a fuckery. Whoever. Whoever. Look. Nothing's going to come of this situation. Nothing's coming of this situation. Void the course. Somebody should have voided the course, course of trying to put you in turmoil. Because you, look, you, clarity. You're right. You was right. You was right about this person. I love you, beautiful queens and handsome kings. Justice is coming to you for whoever tried to fuck you over with their oppulsive, overbearing ass.